Lakota 2 plus 1 gooseneck here, a Halo RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And there's a lot of good trailers out there, but I tell you, look, th this is really like the unsung hero brand out there. This has among the very best construction I've ever seen in a gooseneck. Their attention to detail is supreme. They have more guys working in a factory producing fewer trailers per day, meaning way more time per person looking at, touching, and invested in this trailer. That's a big, big deal. Uh, you're going to see a lot of features on Like, if you just glance at this, it's really easy to miss a lot of the detail stuff they do. That's why I put these videos together, because there's so much going on in this. Let's, let's just get dug in. All aluminum. Aluminum frame, uh, aluminum skin. This is 7'6 tall. Um, this is uh, about s roughly in the 7 wide range. I'd, I'd have to take a second look at it. I do notice the, uh, the fenders are outside of the body. Um, 5 plus 2 warranty, 5 year structural, 2 year bumper to hitch, which on something without a living quarter essentially means pretty much a 5 year warranty because it's almost exclusively structure. Um, big, what I like about this, the, they have a wider ramp here. It's easier to get up and down, and this sucker is grippy you know you're you're not gonna have to worry about a horse with wet shoes or anything uh, slipping around on here and I love the fact again detail stuff they finish this all the way around now by the way the little torn down boxes that they have down here um, that's stuff that they do uh, just to keep this trailer from getting tracked up and dirt tracked in it when it's out on a dealer's lot I mean this way when you take it home it looks spick and span brand new it's all sorts of attention to detail uh, you're going to have uh, full running boards here, obviously split because of the, the ramp on this side, but full running boards, and they do uh, weld directly to the, the fender. So that's going to help keep the fender from getting wobbled around from uh, wind buffeting and whatnot. Uh, this is 100% LED lit. You have 100% LED lighting inside and out, so you just really basically don't ever, <laughs> pretty much ever need to worry about bulbs burning out. Um, Vino's uh, on here, so you can jackknife the cur uh, the turns pretty hard. And uh, I do like, uh, it is not uncommon, but it's not across the board, that they do have an escape door here in the, uh, the plus one section, the front stall. Not every brand has stuff like that. Now where they really took it above and beyond, they took it to the next level, is the inclusion of the drop down door here. And I love their hardware systems. By the way, this locks down for transit, so it's not gonna bounce around on you. This window does open for ventilation. It's just an easy pull down handle system with the face gate built right in. And if you want, you can slot this gate outside of there too. Um, each rear stall also has its own drop down. Talked about the, the LED lights. Each rear stall does have a little ventilation window. You can get some good air push through here. So you have locking tail curtains that also have their own windows. So you can either lock it open for awesome airflow or you can slide the panel open uh, for moderate airflow. Um, all of your switches for your interior lights right down here. Make sure you have a hotline run from your truck to power those, by the way, or you may want to add an, uh, a, a battery system onto this after the fact. Uh, fl uh, flood loading lighting down here. A couple of these things um, might be a couple little extra widgets or options that we've added on here, but this is generally how this trailer is going to look when we stock it in. I generally won't reshoot video footage for every single trailer that comes in, but within reason, this is what it's going to look like. So don't be afraid to ask uh, for, uh, you know, what are the couple little differences here? All of your stall uh, areas are, uh, you know, like your dividers are padded, aluminum, fully removable. That middle gate section, that bulkhead wall is fully removable, so you can use this whole thing for loading. If you want to load like a, a cart or a buggy or something like that in the front, then have your pulling team back here, you can do that. You could use this almost like a toy hauler. You could use it for pretty much any purpose you want. The flooring in this, heavy duty interlocking uh, aluminum plank flooring here, heavy duty stuff. And uh, you know, all rubber matting you can easily pull out and clean. And uh, just, uh, they're, I mean, their welding work. They clean their welds. You don't see that black smoke or anything. Their, their welding in this is just incredible. They do an amazing job of that. Like I said, from nuts and bolts perspective, this is among the very best I've ever seen, and we've carried a lot of brands. I'm a big fan, obviously, and but I was really skeptical. I, I'm very cautious of uh, any time we add a new brand, and these guys have really won me over. We have fully lined and insulated the dresser area of this, so if you want to use this like a little weekender, you can. We made this a very multifunctional trailer. Again, all LED lights inside, even with a single button camper switch, just boom, it'll light up all your lights in here. Uh, we have upgraded to a Saddle Boss saddle rack. Again, removable if you want to pull it out of here. But long story short, Saddle Boss um, trees here, they just they do a better job of keeping your saddle on the tree. You also have a good walk-in dresser here. And check this out. You have this big step 
to get yourself up into this gooseneck section. And they even have a little grab handle, so it's easy to, to heave yourself up here if you need to. Um, I like the fact that they put this big inch and a half lip on here. So you, if you do have cargo shift, there's a good chance it's going to catch and not end up all over the floor or falling on your saddles and knocking them on the floor. And do notice, too, that we do put rubber mats in our dressers. We generally dislike putting carpeting in our dressers because then you can get um, odors and, and uh, you know, track manure and dirt and everything in there. And again, we're, we're trying to keep this thing uh, looking as good 10 years from now as it looks today. And that's what a Lakota is about. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Take care, stay safe, happy trails.